Hi guys, I thought since today was um, Body and Balance, I thought I would just do a quick 10 minute chair yoga for you guys who are working in an office and wanted something to do to kind of like lengthen out, not lengthen out the body, but just kind of make the body feel a little bit better. So bear with, I had to like do some fine maneuvering to make sure I can get everything in order. So. Here we go. You wouldn't believe the contraption I have my phone sitting in at this moment in order to uh, get this. So it's about 10 minutes long, so if you want to join in now, you want to watch it later, you want to do it at your lunch hour. I'm wearing my jeans on purpose so that you guys can see that you don't have to actually change into specific clothes in order to do some very simple, easy chair yoga throughout the day. So you want to just be sitting on your chair. Uh, if you have a desk chair that has arms, just move forward in the chair a little bit so you're more on the end of it. Then you want to make sure that your heels are directly below your knees and you're just going to place your hands on your knees and we're just going to warm up the spine a little bit. So as we inhale, we're going to tilt the pelvis forward, arch the back, lift the chest, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, round out the back, drop the pelvis back so you're back up past the sit bones so you're on the bum cheeks, almost to your tailbone. And we're going to do that again. So we're going to inhale, lift and arch, and then we're going to exhale, round it out. And again, inhale, deep breath in, and then exhale, roll it out. And again, inhale, round it up, and again, exhale, roll it back. We're going to do one more time. As we inhale, arch the back, lift the chest, so we're tilting the pelvis forward, and then exhale, drop the pelvis back, round out the back, and then come into center. So we're gonna grab the hands, place them in front, and then you're gonna exhale, reach your arms forward, push your shoulders back, inhale, come back into neutral. And again, exhale, roll it out, push your hands forward, and then inhale, come back to center. And we do that one more time. As we inhale, roll it out, reach your arms forward, inhale, and come up. Okay, so we're going to come to a neutral position. You're going to place your hand, grab onto the side of your chair, and we're going to take our arm up and over. So you're going to lean over into this side slightly as we reach your arms, and we want to stretch out that whole side of the body, and you're just holding on for stabilization here, and you reach Breathe, exhale, and come back. Okay, grab onto the other side. Here we go, we're gonna take the left arm up and bend the waist, reach over, opening up the side of the body. Good, and then exhale, come back to center. And again, here we go, lift, and up, bend the waist, and reach. Good, and release. And again, to the left. And again, we're going to reach, try to breathe into the side of the body. We want everything to loosen up and release as you stretch and reach that arm over and release. And each time you're going to go a little bit farther. So here we go. Inhale, last one on this side and reach and release. Then we're going to come down. Last one. Here we go. And reach. Good and release. Now, if you're able to twist in your chair, you're going to do that. If you need to, row, you don't have as much mobility through the lower spine and you need to rotate on your chair, you're going to do that. I'm going to turn my chair so that you're not staring at my back the whole time. So, from here, if you're able, in order to do this, you're going to sit back in your chair just a little bit and if you're able to turn at the waist, we're going to do that and you want to lengthen up the spine. So we're going to lift the rib cage up here. And as you exhale, you're going to turn and rotate and hold on to the chair. We're not holding on for dear life. We want to use the core in order to do that. If it's too much, you're going to rotate in your chair. Then you're still going to lift and we're still going to turn. And then you want to continue the turn and look past your left shoulder. So we're going to hold this for five breaths. So just take a nice long deep breath in. We're going to keep the rib cage lifted and exhale. So you want to focus on breathing in through your nose and then out through your nose. Okay, nice long breath in and exhale. And again, inhale 
and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. As you exhale, rotate back through center. And again, I'm going to rotate my chair so that I'm not, you're not staring at my back. And again, we're going to inhale and then exhale and turn. And again, if you need to, you can turn yourself sideways in the chair and we're going to lift and turn. Okay, so you're going to continue that turn and focus on your breath. Just breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And you're going to turn your head all the way so you're looking out past your right shoulder. And again. One more breath in. And exhale. Rotate back. You want to make sure as you're coming forward, we're going to loosen up the hips a little bit so you're sitting forward. So we want those abdominals to engage. We don't want to be back here. We're not relaxing. And you want to come forward. And then you're going to roll your toes under so you're on the tops of your toes. So you're just going to roll that around a little bit. Loosen up. Get a little fluid into the joints. Get some mobility in your feet. If you need to take your shoes off, take your shoes off. It'll make your feet feel good. Okay. And then we're going to release. Wiggle the toes a little bit, and we're going to bring your foot up. If you need to be on the knee, you're going to be on the knee. If you can pull it a little bit closer, that's great. If not, don't force it. And then we're just going to massage the feet around. Good. Wiggle them around. Smack the top, bottoms of your feet. Get a little blood flow going in there. And then we're just going to sit forward, and we're going to let that knee drop. Okay. You can place your elbow on the knee as you lean forward. If this is too much of a stretch, don't do it. And you're just going to be back here. Okay, so you're just going to hold and breathe. If you're feeling that as you come forward that you're good and you can extend, you're going to reach your arms through, drop your head, and breathe. And hold this stretch. So you can hold this anywhere from one to three minutes. So if you want to pause the video when you're re-watching it, you can do that. Okay, and then as you come up, you're going to come up slowly, and again, slide your foot off. And then same thing, the left foot, you're going to roll those toes under, and just move it around. I have to tell you, my feet are a little stiff this morning, so that's feeling a little painful, but in a kind of a good way, gets everything moving. Okay. Now, you're going to bring that foot up on to the knee, and again, move the foot around, wiggle the toes, get it moving, smack the bottoms of your feet. I know it sounds a little weird, but you know what? We neglect our feet a lot, and usually our feet are a root of a lot of the problems. So, we're coming forward. So, you're tilting the hips forward. Place your elbow on the knee. Gently, you're not leaning into it. We're not collapsing all of the weight onto our leg. We're still pulling the abdominals in and you're going to breathe. If this is where you are and this is as far as you can go, then that's fine. Stay here. If you can go deeper into this posture, you're just going to drop the arms, drop your chin to your chest, lean forward, and focus on your breath. And again, you can pause the video if you need to later on. And you can hold this up to three minutes and it will help open up the hips and the low back. Okay, as you come up, you're going to breathe. Okay, and release. Now, you're going to take your chair. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this. I have to angle it a certain way so that we're good. So you're going to take your chair, place your hands on the chair, and then walk away. So we're not leaning on the chair. We're stretching back. You want to push your sit bones back, and then we're going to roll the Roll, roll the pelvis in, roll your back, and then exhale and drop. So you're arching and breathe, and then drop as you lengthen through here. You're lifting the chest as you inhale, and then exhale and roll it up. And then again, inhale, and then exhale, roll it up, drop the chin. We've got one more as we inhale, and then exhale. We're going to come to a neutral spine, and we're going to shift the weight over into the right leg. So as you shift over, you want to feel that stretch all the way. As you push your hips back, you're going to feel the stretch all the way from the right arm, down the right side of the body, through the hip, and down into the knee. And it's going to hold here. If you need to bend your left knee, that's fine. You can do that. 
but you want to try to keep the legs straight, come back to center, and again we're going to shift the weight over, and then you're going to push that hip out and over so that you can feel that stretch all the way through the left side, and again back to center, we're going to do it one more time on each side, shift the weight over and to the right, arch as you push over slightly, and then come back to center, you go last one, push over to the left, and good. And then you're going to come back into your chair. Alright, last. You're going to take your arm across, bring your arm up and under, just above the, the elbow, and gently pull across, and hold your breath. And then release. And then you take your right arm across the body, up and under with the left. Gently hold. And release. And you're just going to roll the shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward. And we're going to do a little bit of a stretch through the neck. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're not pulling your neck. You're going to let your right arm hang. You're going to take your left arm over your head, so just the fingertips are just above your ears, and gently let your head fall, so your left ear is falling towards the left shoulder, and if you want to deepen that stretch, you're going to hang on on the right side, lean over, and then gently pull so that you're feeling the stretch all the way through the SCM down into the traps. Okay, if you're doing a lot of heavy lifting and you're lifting a lot of stuff over your head, your SCM, so the stenocleidomastoid, which is the muscles in your neck, they do a lot of work and so do your upper traps. So this will help stretch them out. So again, just a light bit of pressure. Then you're going to come back and release your head. You're always coming back out the same way you went in. Other side, left arm is down, hand over so your fingertips are just above your ears and you're just going to let that right ear fall to the right shoulder. So don't twist, don't look up, you want to keep the face neutral. And if you want to deepen that, you just lean over so you're holding on for dear life. And let the head fall so your ear is falling to your shoulder. And then release, come out and come up and just kind of wiggle around. Alright guys, that's a quick little easy yoga in the chair. Um, helps alleviate some of the pressure and tension in your upper shoulder, upper back and your shoulders. It lets the, lets the low back release, let your hips release, and you're good to go for the rest of the day. I hope you've enjoyed this little break, and um, let me know what you think. Have a good day.